This Mini Cooper was using oil. First, uh, replace the turbo, but with a larger compressor fan. Uh, the compressor fan is now 45 millimeter. The compressor, uh, turbo compressor housing was modified to make it fit. Um, when we went out to test drive it, there was still oil carryover, and I guess that was due to a failed number two oil ring. Um, fuel actually pooled around the piston ring lands. The number two cylinder detonated, exploded the fuel and broke the piston. Piece of the piston went into the oil pan. This caused damage to the spark plug, closing, closing the electrode and breaking the porcelain. To fix the issue, we're going to replace the pistons with CP forged pistons. And we're also going to take the stock OE compression ratio from 10 to 1 down to 9 to 1 to help with the new volume of air. We're also going to open up the exhaust. It has a full exhaust from the cap back, but the downpipe was stock, so we're going to replace the downpipe. We're going to add a wastegate controller that will open the wastegate when a 20 pound of boost is reached. Head will be machined and new exhaust valve guides installed. The engine cylinder walls will be honed. All the torque to yield bolts will need to be replaced. Both camshaft gear bolts, crankshaft bolt, the head bolts, and the rod bolts. These are all torque to yield and cannot be reused. On the head bolts, you will have to reuse the washer, so don't discard those. We will also be updating the cam chain tensure to the fourth iteration. No special tools are needed to disassemble the engine. During reassembly, you will need to hold the crankshaft and camshafts with a special tool. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for reassembly.